God hates fags, God hates fag enablers. Your duty in this life, if you listen to Solomon, he said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. It was almost a year after we left that I finally like looked back at some old videos. It was so surreal. We had all these ideas, and it didn't matter what the impact was on people, on human beings. Everyone in the world, you could just lay them waste on the altar of these ideas, and how certain we were that they were true. Thank God for September 11. He gave you that warning and space to repent. You people of Sodom just rebel more. This land will be a desolation. Isaiah 1. I thought, this is great. This is, this is proof that, that God is punishing this nation and maybe like now people will listen to us. Now they'll understand that they've done these things to incur the wrath of God and that's why, that's why this is happening. When you believe that, you have this, this view of Humanity is essentially, most of it, worthless, just entirely, entirely worthless and deserving of complete destruction, which is part of why we were celebrating those things, those tragedies. 800,000 expected at Chicago Pride today. WBC was there to remind them, sin and shame is what you have, not anything worth pride. Since leaving, we've spent a lot of time talking with people that we used to see as wicked. Um, and, you know, it was us versus them. And we didn't want anything to do with the them. And when you come at it with that, that perspective, you don't really, you're not really seeing them as they are. You're, you're seeing this projected image that you kind of put on them. So we, we were really surprised when we started spending time with them and seeing that they were amazing people doing wonderful things and they were well-intentioned. They weren't just evil or stupid or delusional or led around by Satan. It, they're just people trying to live their lives and trying to do what they think is right. I did nothing to deserve the godly parents I have in Dear Shirley and WBC Diplomat. Such are all God's blessings. The church was our entire community. They were the people that we spent time with and worked with and, and we didn't have like friends or, or people outside. So in that, that time before, before we left, when we were thinking about leaving and, um, and just, just for the first time having this idea that it was even a possibility, it was like watching everyone that we loved. It was like they were all dying. Um, because we knew that, that it was gonna be gone. And so that was um, a terrifying prospect. And also knowing that, that by leaving, we were gonna be hurting them terribly. And that was the last thing that we wanted.